Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to monitor a folder using Python. So we're going to do that, we're going to use this um, module named uh, Watchdog. So what you have to do is you just have to install it using pimp install. So once once you have installed it on your um, Python environment, what you have to do is uh, you go now go to this link over here. The link is going to be provided in the description. Uh, you're gonna go to this example and then we're gonna modify this example, okay? So we go here, copy and paste it, and then instead of using login, login event handler, we're gonna use file system event handler. And then uh, we're gonna delete this section because we don't need it, and then again here. We'll change it to system event handler. And after that, you go to the documentation on this link that's going to be in the description too. Uh, you can see that this class has uh, four methods or uh, four functions that we're going to override. We're going to override this on create, on delete, on modify, and on move. Okay? So let's go to Visual Studio. Let's go outside that if, and then we're gonna override those functions. They're right here. So whenever something is created, we're gonna print create it. The same for delete it, the same for modify, the same for move. And then once we do that, what we have to do is we have to call those functions. So we're gonna call those functions right here. This is how we call those functions. So whenever something is um, created, we're gonna go to the created function, which is right here. And the same for whenever something is deleted, we're gonna go to the deleted function over here. I'm going to print deleted, okay? And then on this observer um, object, uh, we have to give three parameters in this, in this example will give an instance of the file system event handler class and then we have to provide a path so this path is going to be the path of the folder that we're monitoring so it's going to be path equals to the location of the folder in this case it's this one right here we're just going to copy and paste we change this slashes to backslash forward slash I mean. and then um, and then this recursive true uh, this means that we're just we observing what's happening on this uh, test folder but we also observing what's happening in suit folders of that test folder okay if you you change this to false it's just gonna observe what's or you're going to be monitoring what's happening only on the test folder but not inside suit folders okay and then on, on this section uh, we're starting a thread and then we observing the folder every second and then we're going to stop when uh, there is a interruption like some control c for example and then let's print something here so let's print uh, monitoring when we start uh, implementing this thread and let's print let's print don't when we have finished okay and i think that's all so let's press the save it and then let's run this program python test oh i think that there is a problem let's see Okay, so this. Okay, so let's save it. And now let's go to the terminal and let's run it. Okay, now it's monitoring the folder. So let's go to the folder, which is right here. And then let's create another folder inside the folder. And see, we're printing that something has been created. So let's create a file. Let's 
the text document and then something is created like as you can see and then let's copy this file and what's happening is here is like we're creating a file and it's being modified because we have modified this file as you can see because now it's named new text document plus this dash copy okay now we're going to go inside this new folder and we going to create something another test document and it's saying like it's been created and modified so this new folder has been modified because now it has a file and then inside of inside that folder we created a new uh, file so that means that is working fine so let's uh let's delete this folder and we should sh this program should print deleted so delete and then as you can see it's notifying it's, it's notifying us that something's been deleted and now uh let's test move so how you test it is you go here you select a folder and then you just change it to another name and as you can see the file has moved from the second position to the first position so this is how you monitor a, a folder using python and thank you